welcome to Thanksgiving Corrections. We're putting this out a day early because it's Thanksgiving. And if we're not thankful for corrections, what is there to be thankful for? I mentioned Flamin' Hot Cheetos, and I talked about the sauce. I was corrected. Flamin' Hot Cheetos do not have a sauce on them. They have a dust on them, which I should have remembered from the famous Cheetos slogan, mmm, that's good dust. <laughs> I mispronounced uh, the member of a crew team that does the steering. I pronounced it coxswain, which is incorrect. It's coxswain. In my defense, I pronounced it the way it's spelled. But of course, that's not good enough at old Oxford. <laughs> yeah, coxswain, how quaint. <laughs> that's how they get you at Oxford. Because then you say to them, well, how do you pronounce it? And they say, oh, perhaps you'll buy one of our dictionaries. <laughs> I don't want to go to Oxford. I don't want to go to Cambridge. Can you imagine going to Cambridge? Spending every day worried you were about to get recruited to be a Russian spy? <laughs> we love the Cambridge Four, don't we? We love them. Burgess, Blunt, Philby, and McLean. Cambridge Four. They added a fifth later. Karen Cross didn't care for her. It is helpful that it is um, pronounced coxswain and not the way it's spelled because that's how they caught a lot of the kids in that admissions scandal. They would bring them in and say Yale or Dartmouth and they'd say, oh, I see here you did crew. They'd say, yeah, I did crew. And they'd say, no, I'm just wondering, did you have someone helping you with the steering? What, with your backs to the action while you were rowing? Yeah, 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 yeah we did. And they'd say, what, just out of curiosity, what did you call that person? Uh, well, yeah, we called him Fred. <laughs> uh, fr Fred did most, most of the steering. <laughs> they say, yeah, but did Fred have a job? Like, what would you call, what would you call Fred's role in the crew team? They go, uh, Coxswain, get out! <laughs> we showed a graphic of Joe Flacco, Jets quarterback Joe Flacco, wearing the number five. He's the number 19. In our defense, Joe Flacco was on the Jets last year. He left the Jets as a free agent. He was then traded Back to the Jets. He was five last year. He's 19 this year. So slightly defensible, but we heard from a lot of Jets fans because if there is one thing Jets fans demand, it is error-free execution. <laughs> we did... The reason we had a joke about Joe Flacco is he admitted, to his credit, he admitted he was not vaccinated against COVID-5, COVID-19, did it again. <laughs> and I'm wondering, do you think he would have got vaccinated if the vaccine protected you from being traded back to the Jets? <laughs> if it like 95% prevented you from being traded back to the Jets? I feel like at that point you'd stop doing your own research. <laughs> I got COVID twice, you think you got it bad. This is embarrassing. We implied that you send Beetlejuice away by saying his name three times, but of course you summon Beetlejuice by saying his name three times. I, I do not know uh, if this will work, but um, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. as a consolation prize. This is my impression 
of me asking Michael Keaton. Someone's calling me. Uh, yeah, do, uh, do Beetlejuice. Oh, you hate sandworms? <laughs> God, I can't stand myself. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Worth every one of the three phone calls. Um, oh, so we've made a few jokes about, uh, it was in the news. It was reported in a lot of the news that, um, in a new comic, uh, Superman would come out, is come, was going to come out as bisexual. Now, I should clarify, and a lot of people are very happy at the number of comic book fans who watch this show. It's not Clark Kent Superman who came out as bisexual. It's his son, Jonathan Kent, who sometimes serves the role of Superman. And it, they've been the most lovely comments because it is comic book fans who care very much about getting the details right, who also want to make it clear they're not upset about the sexuality part of it. So like, it's not Superman, that would be fine. <laughs> but it's Jonathan uh, Kent who is bisexual and you know Clark Kent, the Superman we know. Um, I think his sexuality is very clear. He doesn't, he doesn't go back and forth, right? He stays in his lane. <laughs> I like that joke so much that I, um, I reached out and asked if I could get a Superman t-shirt because I was gonna think about ripping this open and having it. And I mentioned to Eric, incredibly talented, man who runs our wardrobe department. And he said, you wanna do what? <laughs> Mentioned baby carrots. I got some very interesting feedback on baby carrots. Two kinds of baby carrots. There are baby carrots you grow, but there are also baby cut carrots. These are carrots I think that are more common in a supermarket. These are cut from regular sized carrots and have far less nutritional value than baby grown carrots versus baby cut carrots. And someone, a jackal posited that they think that the baby cut carrots come from carrots that are so misshapen that people wouldn't buy them. So that's how they're making, they're still getting their carrot money out of it. But you have to be careful if you ever, and I'm not recommending you do this, if you ever buy your baby carrots on the black market, just know that your connect, if you will, might do a thing, which is very common in this kind of deal, where they'll show up with a, you know, a duffel bag or you know, some of the fancier guys still use briefcases, and what they'll do is they'll show you the baby carrots, and they'll put the good baby carrots up top, but then underneath, it's just baby cut carrots. So you just have to just know, like, read, before you pay the money for your baby carrots, you know, dig in the bottom. You know, I, it's, I use a jeweler's loop. <laughs> you know, look for a cut. And then if you still can't tell, this is weird, and I know this sounds like a bit, um, the way you can tell is you go like this. And then if you feel like you've been ripped off, it's very important to just look, and you know, look at your dealer and, and say something along the lines of, do you take me for a fool? <laughs> corn, I said corn was a vegetable. A lot of feedback on that. Not, I still don't have any clarity. USDA says it's a starchy vegetable. Some of you said it's a grain. Some of you said it's a grain when you take it off the cob, it's a vegetable when you have it on the cob, but it did, uh, you know, it led me to my research, which, you know, uh, sometimes the best part about corrections is that I'm learning new things to impart upon you. The, this is a true story about corn. Uh, the first Thanksgiving, uh, the pilgrims, 1621, they invited the Wampanoag 
tribe. And they said to, you know, the leader, we would like, you know, to have you for Thanksgiving. And uh, the head of the Wampanoag tribe said, uh, great, is there anything we can bring? And they said, sure, a vegetable. So then it's Thanksgiving Day, and the Wampanoag tribe shows up with corn. And uh, one of the pilgrims, uh, a, a woman, and again, I don't want to be critical of her. They, the pilgrims famously had a very hard first year. Uh, rough winter, new land, you left all their friends behind, long boat ride. So lot, there are reasons that they would maybe be rude. But what happened is, uh, you know, the Wampanoag showed up and said, here's our vegetable, and they brought their corn. And this female pilgrim, like, mumbled under her breath and said, uh, if you call corn a vegetable. <laughs> and that was, um, that was the first Jack's giving. Um, I said some things wrong, a couple of flubs. I said uh, Ray-Man's glasses instead of Ray-Bans. I said Skate Bark instead of Skate Park. And I said Trader's Joe's, which I think sounds better. <laughs> we say, someone said you say this a lot and you're getting it wrong, semblance of normalcy. And I will, that does sound like something Sal would write. <laughs> Technically, the correct vocabulary is semblance of normality. And this is fascinating. Warren Harding, President Warren Harding in the 20s gave a speech where he had a malaprop and he accidentally uh, said semblance of normalcy and then that became acceptable, even though it's not, it was not a word before he said it wrong. And that just goes to show you, you can make a mistake that then becomes accepted. A hundred years from now, we might all call it Trader's Joe's. <laughs> I am now very excited to give what I think is the best correction I will ever give. I feel very confident this is the best correction I will ever give. I have said on this show many times uh, that I am the father of two. Uh, that is incorrect. For the last 10 weeks, I have been the father of three. Uh, 10 weeks ago, my wife gave birth uh, to a beautiful baby girl. Usually this is something I would announce on the show, but we all decided that corrections could use the traffic. <laughs> Uh, her name is, and I should say, you, we knew what we were going to name her for a long time. And you have to be careful. I think everyone who's ever had a kid knows this. You want to be careful telling people the name before a baby is born because some people in your family might go so far as to tell you why they don't like it and that ruins it for you. So you have to wait. You wait until the baby is born and then you say what the name is because it's too late at that point for anybody to say anything. However, some of us, some of us have people in our families who will still comment on a name after it's too late uh, to change it. I have a sister-in-law, love her very much, dear, dear friend of mine. Knew her before I knew my wife. Her name escapes me. <laughs> but my sister-in-law, and let me say, if you don't have, if you don't have a sister-in-law, get go out and get one post haste. They are, it's, the, it's like your wife with none of the intimacy and all of the opinions. <laughs> so, <clears throat> when we had our first son, we, uh, we named him Ash, which is my wife's maiden name. And his middle name is Olson, which is my mother's maiden name. And we thought it was a beautiful tribute to two incredible women. And my sister-in-law, when she heard that we named our son Ash Olson Myers, said, are you worried people will think you named him after Ashley Olson? And I immediately said, I don't think a single person will think that. 
they might think it sounds like Ashley Olsen. I don't think a single person would be like, well, you know Seth. If there's anyone he was gonna pay tribute to. <laughs> I mean, I've never, even, I've never even seen an episode of Full House. Name a kid. Lovely person, I've met her. Lovely person, but name a kid after Ashley Olsen? I mean. <laughs> so. That's the risk. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. Completely. <laughs> Sometimes I lose. Um, all right, so uh, the baby's name. We named her Mary Kate. <laughs> if you want to hear her name, uh, if you want to uh, see pictures, if you want to hear the story, um, you have to watch uh, the Thanksgiving episode, which is on tonight, uh, my parents are on, and this is something that we're just gonna start doing more. We're gonna use the show to promote corrections, corrections to promote the show. Uh, Shoemaker, you've always said your favorite word, synergy. <laughs> this was a joke I decided not to do because it totally didn't seem right based on the emotion of, of having a new kid. I was gonna say, um, do you guys uh, wanna see a picture of uh, my baby. No, again, I'm not going to do this because tonally it's wrong. I say, you guys want to see a picture of my new baby? And then I'd show this. And then I'd go, which one of you was with her? <laughs> it's Thanksgiving, and I'm thankful for a lot. Many things are new about my life that weren't true last year. Beautiful baby girl is one of them. Another one, less important, but also lovely, is the advent of corrections. And I just wanna say, uh, doing this every week makes my life a little bit better, and I couldn't do it without you. So as much as I hate to say this, I want to share that I am thankful for every one of you that takes the time to leave a comment on our YouTube page. <laughs> we are off for a week. See me in two. <laughs>